In this video, I will explain how to review the schedule update. So obviously, after we updated the program, we had negative four of total float, negative four days, which means the project now is delayed by four days. So all total float is consumed, and now we are four days beyond the project completion date. So how to review? First, let's show the baseline information so we can compare to them. We have just to make sure first that we assign the baseline. It's already assigned. Perfect. And dates. So you have baseline project start and project baseline project finish. And also you have BL here, BL1, BL2, BL3, right? So what does it mean? So if you go here to the biz lines, you have here, this is a BL, this is a BL1, BL2, BL3. Okay, so this is how, if you want to assign more than a biz line, because sometimes you want to compare with previous updates and you want to show in the same layout how the progress or for example, the activity percentage complete, it changed over time, over the past three updates, for example. So you have the option here. I wanna show also the baseline total float. I wanna also show the activity percentage complete and schedule percentage complete here. So schedule percentage complete is the planned work. I'm showing now the actual work done, but I want to compare it with what should have been done, the planned work. How much should I have achieved compared to what was actually achieved? Okay, so I have here the dates. You want to also compare. So this is a baseline total float. You want to also bring total float beside it. So for easy comparison, the activity percentage complete beside also schedule percentage complete you can also if you don't like this term you can go to edit column and have a new title let's just say this is the planned percentage and this is the actual percentage apply okay so now i have different description of the column title. So now I have the actual start equals to the baseline project start. I started on time. I accomplished 20%, but the planned version is 60%. So that's why this activity is delayed and the overall project is delayed as well because this activity was on the critical path. So this is a finish forecasted finish date based on the activity percentage is 24th of August, but it should have been completed on 19th of August. So this is a forecast based on the current progress status. And this is 19th of August. I want to also do comparison with the total float in the baseline. It was zero. So it was a critical activity and now it's negative four. For other activities here, it impacted also all successors activities. So I have here 13 days of float but now it's only nine. So I consumed the five days of the float because of the delay, because one activity here on the critical path is delayed. So all subsequent activities are impacted as well. And this is the overall. So for this part of the project, I should have completed on 22nd November, 2021. As a result, I got delayed by five days. You will find here that this is negative four, but here the comparison for the finish date is five days. Because total float in the Primavera, it will consider it uh, like a type of duration. So it's like duration. So if you go to columns, you will find the total float. So if I bring it back, it will. So all total float here will be under duration. It will also give you the working day. So negative four. So it, it is delayed by four working days, not four days overall. But this is the date. So you can just say it was supposed to be completed on this date, but this is the forecast date. So the forecast five days apart, but for the five days here, maybe there is one day weekend. So that's why it's uh, four working days in delay. So this is how to review the progress really quickly. And in the next section, we will talk about some of other functions in Promovera P6.